welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, we are finally starting the build on the Pontiac 350. Now this is going to be an absolutely amazing build. We're going to make this engine make some real horsepower and some good high RPMs. So tag along if you're building a Pontiac 352 and I will show you guys a lot of tips, tricks and parts and whatever to get this machine to get some high RPMs and some serious muscle car horsepower. So guys, the first thing we're going to do is remove the valve covers uh, and then we're going to take them from there, you know. Uh, basically, this is just going to be a tear down. So basically, what we're doing with this build is going for the high RPM. So we're getting a custom forged uh, rod, pistons, and we're going to get the whole like rotary assembly balance and stuff. We're going to go with some uh, real serious main caps with like four studs. And the whole valve train, we're going to go with a hydraulic roller cam and also lifters. And then we're also going to go with a uh, roller rockers from Com Camps. It's gonna be fully Com Camps, uh, whole like the whole uh, camp setup or whatever gonna become. So there we go, guys. Let's get the valve covers off. So as you can see, it's actually pretty clean down here. Uh, it's it's pretty nice, you know, and uh, the oil doesn't look too bad either. It's not that long time ago, so I'm to change it before we park the car, but uh, Now just real quick want to say, if you guys like this series, don't forget to go down below and drop a like and a subscribe And don't forget to put on post notifications, so you know when a new video comes up with the engine So when you guys start working on the engine, if you have a smart engine stand like mine You have these, uh, like, feet right here or whatever on the stand That you can run into the ground, so the stand doesn't like go everywhere, so it doesn't roll around So let's start taking this apart guys, first we're going to remove uh, the rockers right here. So if you can see this, there's a pretty big like uh, mark right there from where it's been riding on uh, on the spring or whatever. It's, it, I can literally feel it's flat right there, which is uh, pretty insane. So that's that's pretty wild, That that's why we're going to uh, roll our rockers, because as you can see it, it literally wore, uh, wore down like the middle right here. So there we go guys, we got all the rockers and push rods removed. Uh, I couldn't really see any of them like have any damage, you know, anything like, you know, out of the normal. So we're gonna dig further into the engine and see what happens to sudden the two. So I don't know about you guys, but I would like to, you know, remove the bolts in the same pattern as when you install the head, so you don't warp anything. So there we go guys, uh, intake jackets look pretty damn good, uh, you know, pretty clean and stuff actually, not a lot of gunk in them. Now, uh, my water system has been really rusty and stuff, so we're gonna get this block and heads cleaned out very good. But honestly, it doesn't look too bad inside of, uh, of the holes here. So uh, that's really nice. So let's see if we can get the, the gasket off here. It's actually in really good condition, the gasket, honestly. So I don't know if you can see this, but there's no, no cracks or anything in it. It, it. It's like new, it's pretty cool. Now the thing I really like about the Punchex and they have to, uh, the, you know, the high rise, whatever, uh, intakes is you don't have the whole uh, intake manifold that you have to seal to the bottom of the block and stuff. It's, 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 it's an awesome system. It's a lot easier to just, you know, bolt the intake manifold down here to the, to the heads and then you have the valve pan closing off, uh, funny enough, the lifter valley. Then we're just gonna get it off here in the front. There we go. And let's see if we can get this off without getting a lot of dirt and shit into the engine. So the thing we're gonna do now is just remove the lifters. There we go guys, we got all the lifters out and now it's time to move on. Now we're gonna get the heads off. So now guys, we are removing the heads. Which are pretty good on there. Uh, so yeah, my dumbass just forgot. Uh, I still have a bolt in over here, so uh, 
Let's just remove that and then we can remove the head. So something I just noticed when I pulled this bolt out is the oil turned kind of milky or whatever. So I'm not quite sure if this bolt run through like a water jacket or something. I'm not quite sure. But that doesn't seem right. There was kind of like water on the bolt too or whatever. So you know it kind of like went down here and made it like a little bit milky. I don't know if you guys can see it but there's kind of like water drops on it or whatever. Looks kind of weird. But that was just that hole right there, you know? I don't know, let me know down below. Maybe I'll, I'll see what's going on when I take the head off. Holy shit, these are heavy, man. This is the heaviest head I ever lifted. Holy fuck. So the pistons actually doesn't look hell bad. I mean, they're really dirty, but I guess that's like 50 years of running, running too rich or whatever it looks like. I would say. So first of all, I'm not quite sure what this is. It looks kind of funny how they filled this in. Uh, I don't know. On, on some of them, uh, the bolts went through. But uh, that, that's pretty weird. I, I never seen that before. Uh, this I haven't seen before either. Like there's a little edge, whatever, like chambered out in the top. Uh, not quite sure what that, that's for. I don't know, something with compression, I would guess. We got a few dents uh, in the deck here and stuff, so definitely gonna be good to machine this down so we get a smooth surface. Now you can see the pistons here, this is the back one. Um, let me know what this S is for, that's that's kind of interesting. Uh, all, all that stuff you can see there at the bottom is just me dropping some gasket stuff down there. Um, but yeah, that's just so much carbon build up on these pistons. Like it's all pitted, first I thought it was like the metal that was pitted, but it's just like on top of the, the piston whatever. There's all this carbon. This one on the right here is actually fairly clean. You can still see like a casting number and stuff. I don't know if it's some kind of like lubricant that the bolts had on or something. Because the, bol uh, the two bolts that had it on had this, you know, like kind of grease on it or whatever. And then the, mid and then the middle bolt hole right here was uh, a little bit rusted or whatever. Uh, compared to the other one that was absolutely clean. That's the only difference I can see, but honestly everything looked fine and everything, so yeah. There we go. Very nice. Now on this one the gasket actually stayed on, so I guess we are able to get a little better look on, uh, on the whole things. Let me know if this is normal with all the punch check blocks that the, the cylinder hole is like oval up here at the top, or they have this like rounded edge out here. I, I just haven't seen it before. You can also see the gasket. Now cylinders look a lot better over here on this side actually. Uh, like a lot. There's not as much carbon build up at all. Uh, this one is a little bit bad, but Yellow 3 looks pretty pretty nice actually. Except this whole silicon thing uh, deal going on here. I never seen that before. I don't know what it is. Uh, since these holes are, are like blocked off or whatever. Seems kind of weird. It doesn't seem factory, but maybe it is factory. So guys, I did drain the engine when I took the engine out, but now the engine's been sitting for like a month or two. So a lot of the oil have collected down at the bottom again. So it's a really good idea to, you know, just get the last out before like rotating the engine and getting all over the place. As you can see, there's still a, a little bit of oil in. By the way, a smart trick if you guys haven't on your your plug right here. Put a little magnet so you know you collect all the small uh, metal parts from the engine. You can actually see there's, there's a bit of shaving here on. A very tiny bit but uh, you know it's, it's still better to catch it than send it around in the engine again. So a really good tip, use a magnet on your, on your oil pan. Oh wow. So thank you guys for watching today's video. If you guys enjoyed don't forget to drop a like and a comment down below. Now today we got the heads off and the whole valve train off. Now in tomorrow's video, we're gonna dig into this engine even more. We're gonna get the pistons out, the crank out, the camshaft, and of course, the timing chain and stuff like that. So tomorrow it's gonna be totally stripped. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video.